beyond infuriated right now. There's been so much talk for months and months and, you know what, throw in the last few years, from 2007 onwards really, the talk about the prison bar gowns. You know, every year we seem to have a discussion on whether or not we're allowed to wear it. We've had a massive petition. We've had games where we have been allowed to wear it, i.e. the round two showdown in 2020. The round uh, 23 game against Carlton in 2013. 2014, the elimination final against Richmond. And that was a farce, too. The fact of the matter is that what we've come to conclude to out of this whole situation is Collingwood are pulling the strings of the AFL. And you know what? It's not particularly the view of the Collingwood community. It's more the administration. I've seen many of Collingwood supporters come out and say they couldn't give two shits about whether or not Port Adelaide wear the prison bar Guernsey in a couple of showdowns per year. What we have is a heritage, a Guernsey that is our right. It's a part of the football club's history. And I've seen plenty of arguments say, that's not Port Adelaide. You know, you're Port Power. You're Port Adelaide Power. You aren't Port Adelaide Magpies. It's the Magpies Guernsey. No. What it is, is it's Port Adelaide. We are the Port Adelaide Football Club. The Magpies and the Power. Two teams, one club. It's been like that for nearly 11 years now. And that's been since the joint agreement we had in 2010. Yes, there's been certain road bumps along the way where both uh, teams haven't seen eye to eye. But at the end of the day, it's still Port Adelaide. It's still a Port Adelaide Guernsey. And this right here does not have any resemblance to a Collingwood Guernsey besides the colour of black and white. Collingwood don't own black and white. The AFL do. The AFL have the rights to all the uh, colours, logos, the presentation of each club. There's many other colours, you know, the red, the yellow, the blue, that are matching. Gold Coast and Adelaide have the same colours. West Coast have the same colours as a Gold Coast away strip. These colours all mix in to different variations of a club. The fact is, how Collingwood can get away with this petty argument that the black and white belongs to them is simply unrealistic. It is piss poor by the AFL. The AFL have no balls in this situation. Now, as someone that is, you know, pretty easy going, I don't seem to take too much in in terms of these situations with other clubs. And you know, I've always been that Port Adelaide mentality and I like to see both arguments before making a decision. But this is so heavenly biased by Collingwood and the AFL that is it is ridiculous that this is a decision that's been made on a game that's gonna be played once a year. Twice a year, sorry, it's a showdown. We're gonna be wearing the prison bars twice a year. If anything, it promotes the heritage of Port Adelaide, the history of Port Adelaide. It promotes the showdown in a different aspect. Adelaide fans and the Adelaide Crows are going to be coming into a showdown. Port Adelaide wearing the Prison Bar Guernsey. They should be thinking of nothing but, oh, let's beat Port Adelaide in the Prison Bar Guernsey. Let's make this rivalry go to the next level. It is the best rivalry in the AFL, hands down. You know, there's no respect outside of the AFL in terms of Victorian clubs. Anything that comes out afterwards, no. No respect for the WA teams. No respect for the South Australian teams. Queensland could get bugger all. There is still a VFL. Well, it's actually VAFL. The V is silent. Victoria, Australian Football League. It is silent, the V, and it's pathetic that we continually, in 2021, you know, we talk about equality and stuff like that, and I'm not getting political in it. If you want equality, bring it in to the AFL. Do it justice. Let every club be able to wear what they want. You know? You've got a special design Guernsey from a fan. All right, we're going to represent that. You know what? It's This is a special year for the football club, not just Port Adelaide. You know, some random, whatever club has a special year, has a special date or something, and that Guernsey was represented 50 years ago. Let them wear it. You know, it is this pettiness that this AFL, the AFL is so corrupt. 
in this situation. And what really pisses me off is the argument that Eddie Maguire has and the fact that he still thinks he's relevant in the game. He is not relevant. I have more relevancy than Eddie Maguire, and I'm just a small YouTuber. He has no relevancy. He has no part in the game. He's lucky he's still got his gig at Footy Classified and Channel 9. It's pathetic that that clip, and that clip as well, that pissed me off. I struggled to sleep because after watching that, my blood pressure was through the roof. The fact that we had this agreement that in every year from then on, Port Adelaide could wear the prison bar Guernsey in a heritage round. And the AFL and Collingwood, Collingwood in particular, knew this before, and Port Adelaide did not know this statement, that there would be no heritage round after 2007. It was getting scrapped. So they blindsided Port Adelaide into signing this agreement, fully knowing that two out of the three parties knew that there would be no heritage round. That is a very corrupt and very disrespectful agreement. The contract does state, you know, we can't put a retail item, um, sell it as a retail item um, for Port Adelaide fans. We did that in 2020, and it was the number one selling AFL merchandise pizza merchandise out of everything. More was sold of the prison bars than it was of any premiership merchandise for Richmond. That's how big and that's how mega this this whole thing was. The fact is, Collingwood are a joke when it comes to their administration. They're not even focusing on their own football department. No one outside of Collingwood has a problem with this. The AFL are being stringed still in this argument. And it's really disappointing, and it, it's a, it's disrespectful to the Port Adelaide Football Club. And the look, Eddie McGuire stated that we were disrespecting Collingwood fans. In no way was anyone disrespecting Collingwood or their football club or anything like that. It was purely for the fact we want to celebrate our history and promote South Australian footy in such a way that in a showdown it's going to be epic. You know, imagine Saturday night, a hundred percent capacity. 50,000 people, Port Adelaide home game, we're wearing the prison bars. It does not get more electrifying than that. And now we're not allowed. We are banned from wearing it next week. And if we did so wear it, we'd cop a four premiership point deduction. So I say to Port Adelaide right now, I say, wear it. Make a stand. And everyone in the AFL can get on notice. Because all of us fans will be wearing a prison bar Guernsey next Saturday night. So the, why not risk the four points? We're probably going to go deep into finals anyway. We're probably going to make the top four. Cop it. Make a stand. Make history. You want to be history? History in the making would be wearing a prison bar Guernsey. Copping the four point deduction. And making a stand on this argument once and for all. And you watch... Everyone explode. I would more than happily respectfully uh, agree with Port Adelaide's decision to not wear the prison bar Guernsey next weekend, not risk the four points and continue on their merry way. But it's making a stand on this argument. This argument will not go away. Port Adelaide fans will not back down from what they believe is right. And Port Adelaide itself won't back down from what they believe is right. And Koshi coming out and making a stand on this argument every single time is showing me and everyone in the Port Adelaide faithful, that one day we'll get what we want. And we deserve it. As simple as that. Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off! So I look forward to seeing what else develops in this. But this is my response to the prison bar debate. The result is very disappointing, and I'm not happy about it. But this is what we're going to have to live with now. And we move on to Brisbane this weekend. That's a whole another video that's going to be coming later on um, for a preview. And there's so much more news from the Port Adelaide camp that we're going to cover in that. Um, that will probably come out tomorrow. Uh, but it's just been such a whirlwind of emotions um, from this whole argument, debate, result. This is It's just very disappointing. So let me know in the comments below what you're thinking about this, Port fans. I know there is a lot of anger and frustration and... You know, I'm trying to be reasonable because it's we can't do much else um, from here in the short term, but the long term we can do something more. So sign the petition, stand up next week in the showdown with your prison bar guernsey, singing Narrow Terrace apart. Let's make a stand as a club 
and as a fan base and show the AFL and Collingwood that we're the best fans in the league and we deserve to wear the prison bars.